Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are. What an opportunity that the Lord has granted us. Every day is a day that is given and granted to us so that we may exercise our authority, exercise who we are, exercise what we have, and get also to acknowledge everything that we have been given to us. You know, we cannot walk in ignorance and, and be happy. When you walk in ignorance, you suffer a lot of things. But when you walk in the light of knowledge, or the knowledge that Christ has brought to the earth, revealing to us the love of God, and how much we are supposed to enjoy life and walk in, in this life in victory, in joy and peace and everything we might think about, we are blessed, brothers and sisters. So we have to exercise and live in that day with that consciousness and this is very very crucial i'm saying this is very very important every day can be a good day can be a great day can be that beautiful day that you're looking for or you want every day and as long as you acknowledge and you walk in the consciousness of what has been given to you and it's an opportunity if you didn't work yesterday today still continue to exercise and also growing the knowledge and you'll see it manifesting in your life and you know when you exercise you come to a place where you, be, you are now a master you understand how things works but you cannot just um, see things working uh, when, if you have not exercised, if you don't know how they do, they, they, they unfold or they manifest, you will not know how to continually operate that way. So it's important to acknowledge what we have, who we are in Jesus Christ. It's important. Glory to God. So we are blessed once again. I don't know how much I can explain to you. Um, uh, how deep we are blessed i'm telling you because what we have um is so special and unique for instance no man in the old testament had what all of us in the new testament have today so if there is that opportunity or blessing we should acknowledge it and bless the lord because we have it glory to god glory to god we are still looking at what the holy spirit has come to do and uh, the Holy Spirit, the Bible told us that when he comes, we will convict of the world of his sin. And we, we discover that the sin, because it has not, we, the world had not believed in him of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and you see me no more of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. So the ruler of this world was judged, and is no more. You see, the Holy Spirit has come to reveal the answer to about see, that Christ has come and answered uh, dealt with the sin problem and also he gave us righteousness and again there's no there's no enemy that has not been defeated that even our enemy even the one who 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 uh who the ruler of this world is also judged you know and that means that we reign today we reign together with christ today i'm telling you no nothing is reigning but christ christ is our lord is is reigning now and we are reigned together with him glory to god you know when you see these things you are just going to become a worshiper because you you just realize oh it's just a realization in your soul a realization in your mind you begin to see there's nothing you're going to do, I'm telling you. There's nothing that has not been done. But the discovery, the understanding, the acknowledgement of what has been done is what you need today. That's what you need. You see, in this ordinary life, when a child is, being, is, is eating, they use the mouth to eat. You know, they use the mouth to eat. So, and as you feed the child, 
the uh, the food will cause growth will cause the increase i mean you keep on feeding the child the right food and the food will do its work in that child well when it comes to the spirit to this spiritual growth our mouth is our ears so our ears can hear and they will, and we eat from our ears you're listening to the word and that's what you is being fed to you see very important and the kind of food you're eating will cause the manifestation of what is contained in that food or the quality of that food or manifest in your life that's how it works that's how it works so the judgment the rule of this world is no more <laughs> it's been judged it's been judged you know to be judged is being condemned you know condemnation or judgment in this context is saying it means that it is something that is useless it is something that is out of use it is something that is not operative anymore it is something that has been found unfit and has been demolished when he says that he judged the rule of this world it means it's been destroyed it's been taken away that, that issue the one who caused all this chaos is no more and you can understand like i said this is adam who is the rule of this world why because he's the prince of uh, prince of this world i know what people think people think of what, whatever <laughs> and yet he's saying the one who f- who causes the prince of this world or the rule of this world it means the one who causes the way things are going to unfold it means the one who's been given the authority and power that whatever happens to him happens to all and that's what i'm saying go back in genesis you realize that this man was given authority over all things in genesis chapter 128 from to verse 28 but then when he he fell his fall was the fall of the world and the fall of the whole universe so when jesus came he came as the second man and the last adam you see when he came at the second and the last man of adam he had at the last adam he had to judge the first adam in other words take him away so that he may reign and as we speak now christ reigns there is no more this first adam there is the last adam there's no more this first man there is this second man so he's been judged by who by jesus christ now we are in the kingdom of our lord right now in the kingdom of our lord jesus christ right now and he reigns and in this kingdom unlike the world's kingdoms how i sometimes hear people trying to compare you know the kingdom of this world and the kingdom of god it has nothing to do it it it, it cannot be compared you know because in this kingdom we are all sons have you ever seen a kingdom where by all or the inhabitants are sons and daughters that means prince and princess <laughs> have you ever seen that because in, in this no more um this ordinary kingdom you should have a king and his subjects but we're not his subjects we are more than his subjects we are sons who are born of god you see this is different then this is different this is different you cannot compare it so the rule of this world i wanted to say that the rule of this world is being taken away it's been judged 
And this is the Holy Spirit revealing to us. Look, if the Holy Spirit is not revealing to us about the victory over sin, the victory, we have the righteousness of God because it doesn't judge us. He just reveals to us, well, that we have the righteousness of God. And he also shows us that the ruler of this world has been judged. So what are we scared of? And this gives us victory. If he's been judged, we are free. So the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God came to reveal to us the work of Jesus Christ. If you look into all this, you realize this is the work of Christ. The world had to be convinced of sin and understand the one who took it away. We have to understand about the righteousness of God. And we have to understand the rule of this world has been taken away, has been judged. And if he's been judged, oh my, my. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Now, who is the rule of this world today? If the rule of this world has been judged, who is ruling the world today? <laughs> you know, some people have taken the, this world and gave it to the devil and, and many other evil. They have given up to this world to those who do not have a share. In it, they do not understand that Jesus Christ is Lord today and you cannot be the Lord and the King of Kings if you are not you have not conquered you see you cannot just take over the world unless you have conquered everything and every no no nobody else is reigning today but the Lord and he had to win the victory to win and overcome everything and take over, judge the rule of this world, because there, we, are, we don't have two rulers. We only had one ruler of the world before Christ. Now that Christ has come, we have one ruler. The one who rules today is the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to compare him with any other person, that is also ignorance. You see, you should acknowledge Christ and Christ alone. If you are acknowledging Jesus Christ and you acknowledge somebody else aside, who is beside Jesus Christ, who is close to Jesus and who is fighting you, you are acknowledging battles and all that, all that will not help. I'm telling you the most important thing that you need to understand is that you are reigning together with him. He is the Lord ruling and reigning now. And no one else does but him. He's the only one who is ruling. Right now, he's the only one who is ruling. And we should understand that this is what the Holy Spirit reveals to us. He came to reveal us our position, our place, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. And the, the implication. After seeing that the rule of this world is gone, you are the righteousness of God, sin has been dealt with. Come on. What next now? What has what is supposed what happens? What 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 are we gonna do? Well, many times is that we don't get very well and clearly what has been done and what we have become. Because that is where our joy is. That is where our joy lays. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By the Spirit, we understand all the work that Jesus Christ has done in our position right now. There is no excuse whatsoever. If this is the work of the Spirit, to reveal us what has happened and you get to know it, there is no excuse. 
We have to win. We are winners. We are victors. We are more than conquerors. Shalom, shalom. Remind you to subscribe on Church of Life Rwanda and share this message with the world. We need the gospel. We need the gospel. You are blessed.